Grandma Maria knitted this for me. My mother was a, an elementary school teacher, and I suppose you could say that um, her delight, who just made being in the classroom enjoyable. So I said, hey, I'd like to do that too. So there you go. My father was a musician, a church organist. I'm not a player, a performer, but uh, I love music. I'm in the humanities area, which is very open-ended. We can watch the Muppet Christmas Carol just as easily as a documentary on the Civil War. It's totally justified when you're reading Dickens or a biography of Lincoln. I hope that in the classroom, uh, after every 50 minutes or 75 minutes, students will walk away with a smile inwardly saying, hmm, um, I know something now that I didn't know before. It's not a narrow syllabus. We can talk a little bit about science through the books that we can use in humanities courses. The textbooks are very rich. They're almost encyclopedic, so it's very open-ended, uh, this area called humanities. Seriously, the classroom should be a fun environment at the same time that it is a learning environment that's serious-minded. Um, <clears throat> and I'm older, um, so I don't know if that's pre-senility. <laughs> I take delight in coming to school, and I'm very grateful to MSUM, this institution, for the privilege, really, of having classes in the humanities that touches on so many interests that you guys have as art students, film students, history majors. You all bring so many different talents. I take seriously the course evaluations. I ask students to write constructive criticism that helps me to see, well, maybe this book wasn't the perfect choice or something about my presentation at one point or another might have been made more uh, accessible. I, whatever it may be, growth. Wanting not to be static. Find a teacher whom you feel very comfortable talking with. And it may be your advisor, or it may be a prof in a course you take. Finding someone on the faculty whom you feel very comfortable talking to about life, liberty, and the pursuit of academic happiness at, at MSUM and beyond. So every day is a good day to get up.